Some areas of Central Florida are seeing a change in the way garbage is collected and it's saving them some cash. News 13's Stephanie Bachara is live in Orange County where the new cans are creating some chatter, Stephanie. That's right, Marla. I'm here in Tangelo Park where these 95 gallon carts the residents are getting familiar with. If you look behind me, the green one is used for garbage, the blue one for recycling, but not everyone is looking forward to that change. On a windy day, you can see trash bins on the ground spilled over. It's not a pretty sight and will soon be changing. It will also make it easier because it's we're moving to an automated system where um, now the machines can now pick up uh, the bins. Homeowners will be receiving two 95 gallon roll carts, a blue one for recycling things like cans, newspapers, plastic bottles, and a green one for garbage. I'm happy that they're doing it in Tangelo. We are a small community and so far we really try to make our community clean. Commissioners help the Solid Waste Division pass out the carts to homeowners. About 400,000 carts will be handed out between now and mid-December. And it will save you some cash, about $30 a year for each household's garbage collection bill. But trash pickup will only happen once a week, something not everyone is a fan of. For us, the users, I think is extremely hard because this is Florida, the time is hot, we have decay. So I think the things will smell, the things will rot more, more quickly. On collection day, carts should not be close to a mailbox or any parked cars. You want to make sure the handles of your trash can are facing your home and away from the street. Change is difficult. You know, we're used to one thing and then when we're being uh, introduced to something new, um, it takes a while and that's why we put in um, some provisions for uh, those changes to take place. You do not need to be home for the delivery of these carts. Now, once you receive the carts, put them away, store them until they are officially in use. That's January 1st of next year. Reporting live from Orange County, I'm Stephanie Bechara, News 13.